Kelly Decker. My job description is working in environmental education for the past 10 years in various capacities. I have uh, been the executive director of the Children's Nature Institute. I would, am now currently a consultant working with LADWP and a handful of nonprofits mm -hmm. in the work in the environmental education work that they're doing and working on behalf of the funder to make sure that their dollars are being spent wisely. I'm working with some of the best and brightest of the nonprofit community in terms of environmental education and uh, connecting people to the realities and sort of the, the real life workings of how we get our water, how we get our power, um, what some of the challenges are around that, what some of the successes are around that. And so really, um, the work that I do directly applies to everybody's life, to how, how people are living in this world, how they are able to drive their cars or go to work or go to school or turn on their lights at home. Um, my job directly impacts people's ability to be able to do that. It's important for students to have a background in uh, or to study biology, the natural sciences, ecology. Um, I also think that systems thinking, engineering, math, technology, those are all great disciplines to study. Um, and I've also studied um, leadership development, nonprofit management, grant making, fundraising, all of those are very important skills to have when you're working in any nonprofit environment. My job impacts people, children, the environment, nature, animals, wildlife, basically the entire world. <laughs> and so I can't imagine doing anything other than working in that, in that landscape. Um, this work that we're doing in the nonprofit environmental education community is really important and meaningful. And um, without folks doing this kind of work, without us doing this work, um, we would be in really bad shape environmentally. So, so my very favorite thing to do uh, was be outside. Um, any, any time, day or night, doing anything from making mud pies to hiking to running around with my friends to planting a garden. If it was outside, I was absolutely, you know, I was in, on cloud nine. I would spend every hour of every waking moment that I could possibly get my parents to allow me to be outside. So um, obviously that correlates a lot to working in the environmental education community. Um, and I also just sort of have always loved teaching and I've always loved being a, a connector um, and bringing folks together to move in the same direction. So the most important thing for students today is to be open to be inquisitive and to be curious, to not be afraid to ask questions, and to be able to take on the responsibility of being solution makers for the future of our uh, water and energy and environmental needs. Because the truth is, I'm borrowing this land, this world, from the students of today. I'm no longer an owner. They're the ones who own it. So in order for them to know what the successes and challenges are around our environmental structure, they need, to, they need to just be open to learning and to not be afraid to ask those questions and to keep going even when it seems tough. It's really, our fate is in their hands, so they have a lot of responsibility.